Hey guys, Adam here with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we're taking a closer look at and installing the LED DRL projector headlights with the black housing and clear lens available for the 05 to 11 Tacoma. Very simply put guys, you should be checking this out if you're looking to modernize the front end of your 05 to 11 Tacoma, which I'm sure you guys would admit is pretty outdated at this point, especially when it comes to the front end headlights and the lighting solution. Now, obviously this truck is pretty heavily modified with the front bumper and a lot of extra LED accessories, but the factory headlights just don't go with that. They're faded over time, super yellowed out from sun damage and are just in need of an upgrade. They're not as bright as they could be and they definitely aren't modern anymore. Now, this particular headlight here incorporates an LED DRL or daytime running light, which you see on a lot of the newer gen trucks coming off the line these days. Now, that's something that you're interested in, but you really don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of bucks, this is going to be a really good way to go. It's right there in the middle of that pricing range. This one uses that inverted C shape here that is more of a pure white LED when your parking lights and headlights are on. Now that LED there is right around 5000 K color temperature. So it is that pure white and it's definitely brighter than a lot of the other ones I've seen in the category as well. Now this one's going to transform from your factory reflector style headlight to a dual projector style. Now that's going to be a lot brighter, more attractive, and again, a lot more modern. Now those projectors incorporate HIDs right into the middle. You have a low and high beam separate, not the case for your factory lights. And we'll take a closer look at them side by side later on. But as you know, your factory light used one bulb for both. Here you're separating them out inside of a black housing. Now that black housing is gonna give you the impression of a smoked headlight, but with the clear lens there, all of that light output's coming through. You don't have to worry about the smoke diminishing any of that lighting, so you get pure visibility here. So safety is definitely a key, and of course the appearance is upgraded at the same time. Now this guy is still gonna use an amber reflector and LED light on the side. Of course, gonna use an amber LED light in the corner here. Some of the other options in the category require you to swap over your factory incandescent amber light. Not the case, you get an upgraded one. This one does include an incandescent turn signal, but again, you don't have to reuse your factory one, so that's an upgrade there as well. The nice thing about this is it's plug and play. Even though you're incorporating some LEDs, it's got a new DRL, you don't have to worry about splicing or cutting any wiring. It's a direct plug and play to your factory connector. Now this guy's gonna run you right around 450 bucks. Installed is gonna get one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. It's gonna take you about an hour, maybe an hour and a half from start to finish. Now one caveat to that guys is like I said earlier, this truck is pretty modified. We've got an aftermarket armor front bumper here with the winch plate on it, and it's got a modified front upper grill with the mesh inserts. Now if you are running a factory bumper and factory grill, you'll have one extra bolt in the corner and a little bit more work to do in the wheel well to access the wheel well bolt underneath of the headlight. Because our truck here that we're working with is aftermarket, that bolt here is not present and our wheel well has been modified so we don't have to peel that back. Just keep in mind, you will have a little bit more work to do, but as we get to those steps, I'll point it out and walk you through it. With that said, let's get to it. Tools used in the install include an impact gun, quarter inch ratchet, 10 millimeter deep and short socket, and a panel removal tool. First step here for the uninstall, we have to take our grill off. Now pop your hood, make sure you have that hood prop in place for security, grab a panel removal tool and on each inner corner of the factory grill, you'll see one push pin clip just like this. There's one on each side. Grab your panel tool. You can also use a flathead screwdriver, but this is gonna make life a lot easier. Pry up on that center section just like that. Go up underneath and pull that guy out. Repeat that on the other side. Next up, just to the inside of those clips are two 10 millimeter bolts. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver as well, but a 10 millimeter on an impact gun is gonna be a lot faster. Let's get those off. Now on the bottom corners of the grill, there are tabs going vertically, going straight down. So you wanna pull straight up on the grill to dislodge them. Don't pull straight out or forward, you wanna go up. So up, disconnect, set the guy aside. Now just a quick side note guys, obviously our truck is pretty modified. It's got an aftermarket winch bumper here. Because of that, one of our factory headlight bulbs is not attached, but if you're working with a factory bumper, the inner bottom corner, right under the bottom corner of that factory grill, there's one 10 millimeter bolt connecting the headlight to the bumper bracket. Now, because our bumper is aftermarket, like I said, ours is not attached there. So you wanna make sure that you're removing the 10 millimeter right in that corner on both sides. Here's another scenario in which the new bumper, the aftermarket bumper is gonna change things up. If you have a factory bumper, peel back your wheel well liner on each side to expose the inner bolt where the headlight is connected to the factory bumper or the bumper bracket itself. Now ours, of course, is missing the wheel well liner, so we're gonna skip that. But if you come inside here and go straight up, you'll see an L bracket coming off the back of the headlight and hooking into a 10 millimeter bolt. Grab your ratchet and your small or shallow socket, go right on that bolt and work it off. It's a really tight C in here. 
But once you get that wheel well peeled back, you should be able to access it. If you break it loose enough, you should be able to get this off by hand the rest of the way. have it. Repeat that on the other side as well. At the top of the headlights under the factory hood, you'll get two 10 millimeter bolts. Grab your 10 socket again and get those off. Next, we just have to take this trim piece off, this smaller trim piece under the headlight. It's held on by one push pin clip right here in the corner. that out, pull this out. Now we can just lift up on the headlight to disconnect the top pins. You're gonna come in at a little bit of an angle and disconnect the harness from the back. Next on the inside of the headlights, I'm gonna start on the grill side. We're just gonna keep disconnecting our sockets. Pinch, pinch and disconnect each one, just like that. Now you should be able to pull this out a little bit more to expose the rest. All right, now we can pinch and disconnect the main headlight bulb and the corner light here. Set your factory light aside. So we got our headlight off of our 07 Tacoma behind me and it's on the table next to our new LED swap. And I wanna take you through some similarities and differences here, starting with the fact that our factory headlight is looking pretty worse for wear. The actual polycarbonate lens, the clear lens on the outside is super faded, which is extremely common as vehicles age, especially when we're talking in the mid 2000s. Now this is clearly yellowed or tinted in a way that the sun damage has just really set in. Swapping over to a new headlight, it's definitely gonna be time for an upgrade. Now this one here is not only gonna upgrade the polycarbonate lens, but it's also gonna upgrade the interior of the housing. You're looking at a chrome, very reflective factory lens going over to a black or a matte black rather interior lens. Now that guy there is gonna give you a stealthier look. It's gonna be more aggressive without hindering any of the light output because it still utilizes a clear lens itself or a clear exterior housing. Now the technology built into this is gonna be far superior to your factory one, which is pretty dim at this point. The high and low beams are not all that effective, especially if you're looking for a more modern touch. This one comes with a DRL or daytime running light, and that running light itself, when the light's off, looks pretty gray, but once the light comes on, it's a super bright, very white light, around a 5K color temperature. That guy there is something you see on a lot of the newer gen trucks, so if you're looking to modernize the front end, it's definitely a good way to go. It's also got the built-in HIDs for the high and low, switching over from the factory reflector style housing to a projector style housing. So that's gonna give you a more focused beam, it's gonna give you a definitely brighter, more attractive attractive nighttime light, and it's gonna keep you a lot safer as well because you're easily visible. Now the rest of that housing utilizes the amber marker lights. It's also got all those lights built in. The marker light or the turn signal itself is gonna be an incandescent bulb, while that extra corner light is an LED that's already built in. Lucky for us, we don't have to transfer over any factory bulbs or anything like that because it's already built into the new housing with a plug and play harness on the back. So it plugs right into the factory connector. With that said, let's put our new light into the vehicle, plug it in, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so we have the headlight here perched up against our vehicle. I'm gonna take our factory connectors and start plugging them in to the same position the factory sockets were in. All right, and this guy's gonna be plug and play in the middle, just like that. Make sure it clips all the way down, you hear that snap. And then this one here, the plug in there, might have to bring it a little bit closer. Push that in and hear it click. Once you have all three connected, mount your headlight. All right, so now we can take our headlight, pop that back in place. You may need to come down at it on an angle. This can be a little bit tricky. Get that guy to slide in there and line it up. Perfect. We're gonna take our factory bolts, put them back through at the top, these two. We'll put our trim panel here and then we'll knock out the bolt on the inside. Next, I'm gonna put those factory 10 millimeters back in at the top. They are going into plastic, so you just wanna be careful if you're using an impact gun, go pretty slow. You just wanna get it snug. Boom. You don't wanna strip it out. Keep in mind, guys, if you have a factory bumper on, you wanna make sure you're tightening down the 10 millimeter in this bottom corner, but because ours is aftermarket, that's not getting attached. Then you wanna take your trim panel, the paint match trim panel, slide that guy right on. It's gonna slide into this corner first. Make sure that mounts and push it forward and put your push pin clip back in the inner corner. Perfect. Next up, we're back in the wheel wall area underneath of the headlight to put the corner in, this 10 millimeter right here. Again, if you have a factory bumper and your factory wheel wells, you want to peel those back, but because ours is aftermarket, we can easily get back here 
I'm gonna start this 10 millimeter by hand and then go back in with our ratchet. All right, once you have this bolt tightened down, that's the last one for our driver's side. Repeat the exact same process on the other side. Once you have the other side knocked out, we can just put our grill back on. That easily just drops straight down into place on both sides. And then line up the 10 millimeter bolt holes, put the 10s through, and then the two clips on either side. All right, I'm gonna hit this guy with my 10 millimeter socket. Again, we're going into a little plastic housing there, so you just wanna be careful, don't to strip, you don't wanna strip it out. All right, same thing on the other side. And then we can hit the clips in the corners. All right, back into this corner, grab that panel clip or the push pin clip, snap it back in place. Push down on the tab. Repeat that on the other side. All right, same thing on this side. Once you have that taken care of, you're good to go. That's gonna wrap up my review and install for the LED DRL projector headlight with black housing and clear lenses available for the 05-11 Tacoma. Get yours right here at extremeterrain.com.